But my name's Grant McLeod. I am originally from the village of Glenelg, which is near the Isle of Skye. I'm now living in Bishop Bridge, just north of Glasgow. It's from that time in the Highlands, though, that my little bagpiper grew. Yeah, I just loved spending time up in the mountains. And as a musician, I learned the bagpipes in school. A Monroe is a mountain in Scotland that's over 3,000 foot. The number of them has changed over the years down to just modernisation of charting. There's 282 currently. They were charted initially by a gentleman called Sir Hugh Monroe. The term Monroe bagging comes from just climbing them and ticking them off, so you bag the Monroe. And it's also the root of my name, Monroe Bag Piper, as well as Monroe Bagging. Makes it a bit of a sport, but it gets you out and enjoying all the different hills. My playing style is under the right shoulder, so I have my right hand on the top of the chanter and the bag under my right arm, which is different to the standard left. I do remember my tutor telling me just to pick up a chanter and going with it, and that was his style of teaching. So I've done most of the Monroes that are within two hours of Glasgow. Now a lot more logistics needs planned. I've just bought a van which I'll be kitting out as a camper so that'll help with a few overnighters. My profession, I'm, I'm actually a personal trainer in Glasgow. I played a lot of football when I was young and from a young age I got put into the sort of coaching capacity. It just sort of went on from there. I took an interest in the sort of personal fitness and I do a little bit of therapy work as well, massage therapy, body posture realignment. There's a, there's a big push to get people training in gyms and losing weight and not so much of a push to get them to a destination outdoors, which I think is massive. I enjoy training myself obviously too, so it all just ties in quite well. With the social media following, I've started doing dedications for people. If it's somebody's wedding anniversary and they went to Glencoe on holiday, I'll go to Glencoe and I'll, I'll play their wedding tune on the bagpipes for them, wish them happy anniversary. And it's a, a, a lovely, unique gift, and I get a lot of joy out of the responses to receiving these. It means so much to people, and I just love it. I'm hopefully going to be able to do some videos in Gaelic in the not-so-distant future, which will be exciting. I love the fact that I'm bringing like, a bit of Scotland to people. There's people that are seeing things through my eyes that they would never get to see. They're getting the, getting the music, they're, they're learning a bit of the history, and I really do enjoy being part of that. It's amazing just walking in a kilt down Buchanan Street in Glasgow, how many heads that turns. It's, um, it's, it's a symbol of Scotland, and you, you just, it just brings happiness to people. It's, it's quite, quite surreal. In terms of being up the Monroes, I just love being up high and seeing Scotland, being in the fresh air, being away from it all. There's the emotional tie of certain Monroes and there's the just the beauty of Monroes. It's it's incomparable. There's so much just just a, a ten minute walk on a hill can do so much for you. When they say that the bagpipes are learning instruments a ticket to the world, it's it's true. It can take you anywhere.